Alright guys, now that we have installed MongoChef, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is open command prompt and type mongod. Now this is going to run mongod in the background and we wait for connections on port 27017. Next thing is go to mongochef, go to file, connect. Click on new connection and tutorials is the name. The server is localhost and port is 27017. Click on save and connect. Now we have connected. All right, now click on Intel iShell. Now Intel iShell is something similar to Mongo shell that we saw in command prompt, but it's much more easier to use. And now before we get started with the commands, just a quick explanation of the structure of the database in MongoDB. So we have a database and each database is made up of related data called collections and each collection has the actual data called documents. So a database can have one or more collections and each collection can have one or more documents. Don't worry if it's confu confusing right now, it'll get better as we move on with the tutorials. Now some basic commands. The first one is how to create a database. So the command is use and then the database name. So use test db. And when we click on execute at cursor, so it says switched to db test db. Now how the command use works is if test db doesn't exist, it is going to create test db. But if it already exists, it is just going to switch to that tip to that particular database. Now, to check what is the current database we are in, just type db, db, and execute. So it says test db. So the, the db command is used to check what database we are currently working with. Now, the third command is show dbs. The show dbs is used to list all the database that we have. So show dbs, if I run with the cursor, it's going to say local. Now local is the database that is provided by default, but we did create a database called test db. Where is that? Now in Mongo, we need to insert a document in the database for that to be listed. So the, the command to create a document is db dot I need to give a collection name because documents belong in collections so test collection dot insert and let's just put some data and let's say name test now what this command is saying is please insert this document inside this collection inside the current database. So when we go ahead and execute that, write result, so one document was inserted. Now when we go ahead and say show dbs and execute that, so we have test db. So just point to remember, you need to have a document inside the database for show dbs to list that particular database. Now, the final command is how to delete a, da a database. Now, the command is db.drop database. Now, what this does is, okay, we are in the current db called test db, please drop that db. Now, when you execute that, dropped and it was okay. And that particular database was deleted. Now, if we go ahead and say show, dbs and run this it says local so we don't have the test db anymore so that's how you create and drop databases in mongodb thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video